Hi everybody. These are some pieces from my last glaze firing where I was doing some experiments with Chino, Spring Green, Cream, Chino, Frosted Turquoise. Upon, upon examining these pots more closely, I realized that a little bit of cream over the spring green that was over the chino had a nice effect, but when I looked more closely, there was a little bit of pinholing wherever the cream was. So I'm deducing that that's just a little bit too much glaze pretty, but I don't want to take the chance of pinholing, especially if I'm choosing what colors to use on my pots for the store, Nokomis Grove. Whereas when I just put the spring green over the chino, in other words, I dipped the entire pot in chino, then I whacked over the chino at the bottom about an inch and a half, and then I dipped the entire pot in spring green, it came out just perfect. It's a nice green, it's working well, it's easy to do, so I think that this is how I'm going to use spring green on my pots that go to Nokomis Grove. Now this was on brown clay, so I've just done a test of exactly the same combination on a white clay. So then I was trying to figure out how am I going to use my frosted turquoise at the store. I realized that frosted turquoise over Chino with a little bit of cream on the rim is too much. It just pulled down, got kind of blah and boring. But I really liked that edge with the cream alone over the turquoise. It just gave it an added texture that I liked. And when you're using turquoise on the brown clay, uh, the iron comes through, which is really pretty and textural. So I have two pieces that I've glazed, one on brown clay and one on white clay. And it's just frosted turquoise with a little bit of cream on the rim. I'm going to see how that works out. Now, I like the frosted turquoise with the chino. But I didn't like the way the frosted turquoise moved through the chino and left this little lump here. I wouldn't, I wouldn't like that on most of my pieces, and I really wouldn't like it if it puddled up down here. So I made two tests, one on white clay and one on brown clay, where I applied the glaze the same way I did for this piece. Dip the entire pot in chino, waxed about an inch and a half up from the bottom, and then dip the entire pot in frosted turquoise. So it's not going to be as brilliantly blue as that. It's going to be probably more like what's on the side here, which will be beautiful and a nice contrast to using just a little cream with the frosted turquoise. So, after much experimentation, I think... I hope that the pieces that come out of my next glaze firing will represent what's going to go into Nokomis Groves for my spring green and for my frosted turquoise, maybe two combinations with frosted turquoise. And then, just getting the light over there a little bit, um, the glazing is done, but the kiln isn't ready yet. So next glaze fire, which will probably be more like Saturday into Sunday, I'm going to have some poppy wares, uh, four mugs, and a bowl that is covered in my poppies. It's a pretty large bowl. And if it comes out as I hope it does, that will be entered into the Venice Art Center's exhibit for September. If it drips all over the shelf, it won't. <laughs> and then these are two of my, uh, I should say, final tests. One is white clay, little loafers, and one is brown clay, or I should say speckled brown clay. 
and they're both dipped in chino, waxed on the bottom, and then dipped in frosted turquoise. This is my frosted turquoise bowl. I've been waiting to do that. It's on white clay. I did a little um, thinning and adjusting on some of my glazes. So I have a new uh, test for Castile, for fog, and for Castile over sea mist. Castile over sea mist is one of my favorite combinations. It's so beautiful, but I had some pinholing issues. So I've watered down my Castile so it's 1400 on my hydrometer, and I'm going to see if that's going to work. And I did some tests on some uh, pots that probably weren't my best pots just to test the Castile on larger pieces. So this one is um, dipped in fog, and then the Castile is only dipped on the rim, the inside of the bowl, and more than half of the bottom of the bowl is not dipped in Castile. So that was Castile over fog. This is also Castile over fog. This time, the inside of the bowl, uh, let me start over with that one. The whole salsa server was dipped in fog, and then the inside of the bowl and the rim were coated in Castile. And then this one is a test of Castile over sea mist on a large piece. I have a tester, but this will be on a large piece. In this case, I dipped the entire bowl in sea mist, then I waxed the bottom a good two inches up because it's a big bowl and I waxed the center of the bowl, and then I dipped it in Castile, which has been watered down a little bit. I'm sort of bouncing all over the place with my camera. So a lot of um, final tests, I should say, is what I'm doing here, getting ready to do a lot of glazing for Nokomis Groves, where it's really just gonna be like, you know, working in a sweatshop. <laughs> Whichever one's come out the best. Now, this little vase I dipped in nothing but cream because the vase was sitting around with nothing to do and the bucket of cream was open and I realized I, I've never made something in just cream, so I thought I'd give it a shot. And then this is the um, spring green over Chino, only this time it's on white clay. I want to make sure that it's equally as beautiful on white clay before I apply it to my many pots. Phew! <laughs> so this is what I've been up to actually the last couple of days because I have a student so um, Tuesday mornings I'm busy with her and um, like I said won't be till Saturday before I get these in the kiln. I have a bisque firing waiting to go right now but I'm ready just to pack them all in and uh, hope for the best. Okay, everybody. Thanks for watching. Tune in again on Sunday. I should have another video for you. Bye now.